What's up, fam? Welcome to the podcast. Today, it's just going to be you and me talking about memberships for professional organizers. This is a question that I get pretty frequently. What organizations are out there? What other resources do I have for professional development? Should I join? Should I not join? What's the cost? Pros and cons? What do they offer? All that stuff. We're going to talk about it today. And a little backstory, I had the privilege of being a guest speaker for ASPO at their first annual conference. And if you're wondering what ASPO is, it is the American Society of Professional Organizers. They have a membership program and they offer certification courses as well as a whole host of other benefits. So we're gonna talk about my experience there. We're gonna talk about what they offer to their members so that you can decide if it's a good fit for you or not. And you're gonna to wanna to watch or listen until the very end to find out if I, Melanie of I Speak Organized, joined ASPO as a member. So stick around, let's get into it. Hello and welcome to the Speak Organized podcast. I'm your host, Melanie Summers, professional organizer, decluttering expert, and ADHD organizing specialist. I like to speak organized to give you the tools to conquer your clutter, live life with more purpose, and learn all about the business of tidying. So if you're watching on YouTube today, you gotta check out our new branded t-shirts and you gotta see the back because it's hilarious. Straight out of clutter, can you read that? So fun. So I actually picked these up on Canva for 25 bucks a shirt just to kind of test out some new designs for our uniforms. So digging it so far. Anyway, welcome to the podcast. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and pull out your device and tap that subscribe button and that will make you an official member of the speaker fam, which would be my honor. Don't forget if you're watching this on YouTube to give this video a big old thumbs up and tap that notification bell so you're notified whenever I post new content every single week. If you haven't already, be sure to join my free Facebook group. It is absolutely blowing up and has a ton of new members in there who are people just like you who are starting or leveling up their professional organizing business and it's a great place to ask advice and get answers to all of your questions. So be sure to click the link down in the description or the podcast show notes to join that group. Also be sure to follow along on social media. My handle is at I Speak Organized. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook as well as various other places, but those are my three main hangouts and I would love to see you there. All right, now I wanna to talk to those of you who are scared to start or level up that professional organizing business. I want you to take my hand, hop off the fence and listen up for just the next 90 seconds so I can help you feel more at ease with all the resources that I can provide for you today. I wanna to offer you a golden opportunity, one that I wish I had when I first started my organizing business. I wanna invite you to book a one-on-one -on -one Zoom conference consult or coaching series with me to get all of your burning questions answered. No gatekeeping here. My goal is to empower you to kick fear to the curb and start your organizing venture with confidence. Discover how to find clients, set prices, structure services, sell without that annoying feeling, improve your website, handle products, create seamless processes, tackle tough client situations, and so much more. You're gonna need to act fast because my calendar fills up. So visit the link in the description or the podcast show notes to book your call today. I can't wait to speak organized with you. And if you need those important forms for onboarding your clients, including the essential client agreement, I've got you covered. Save weeks of design with my Pro Organizer Forms Pack. You can choose from starter or premium and they're customizable templates in a free Canva account. Just edit the text to fit your needs and add your branding touches. Use the code YTPRO8 for an exclusive discount at checkout. Get ready to ask and receive those five-star reviews that will boost your ranking on Google. And if social media seems daunting and makes you wanna pull your hair out, then I invite you to join my class. Master a year's worth of content in one hour and post consistently with just two days of work monthly for real and learn what really attracts clients. Use my code ISOSOCIAL5 for $5 off and don't wait. Find all of these goodies down in the description or the podcast show notes. I am here to guide you. Ready to take the leap? All right, fam. So we're gonna dive in as I always say and we're gonna talk about what ASPO actually is and I wanna introduce you to three of the main players, people that you may be interacting with if you explore the website or consider membership with ASPO. First of whom being Rakita Brown, she is the current sitting president on the ASPO board. 
And then there's also Erin Steele, who is the secretary and treasurer. Both ladies are absolutely lovely and so helpful. And the one gal who is pulling a lot of the strings behind the scenes, she's the first person that I spoke to when I was invited to come and speak at the conference. And that is Jennifer Martin. She is one of the founding members and she's based in Philly. She's a fabulous gal and has been a part of the organizing industry for about 10 or 11 years now and really knows her stuff. So if you communicate with ASPO in some way, you're likely gonna be getting in touch with one of those three ladies. So I'm gonna share ASPO's mission statement with you. It's the best way to encompass their philosophy and the values that they hold as an organization. And it also will help to distinguish them from other organizations that offer certifications and memberships as well. So it says that they educate and certify their members in their method to ensure the organizer's goal to becoming a professional organizer is attainable. So one of the things that Jennifer and I talked about at length at the conference is how she really envisions ASPO being the most accessible and inclusive organization that you could possibly find. And that's really, really important to them. They wanna keep the process of becoming certified simple. They want to keep membership simple and they want it to be affordable, one of the most affordable options out there. And they want their members to feel like they have all the resources that they need. And so it goes on to say that they provide members with tools and support to make a success of their business. I'm gonna break down exactly what is included in membership to ASPO. So we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. And then the last part of the statement is that they aim to make a positive impact on the careers of their members and the communities that they serve. And so their main vision and principles center around simplicity. So they say that they aim to simplify possessions, tasks, and lives. So that is really the main organizing philosophy that is taught through ASPO. They really value being eco-conscious. So they talk about the best ways to dispose and discard of items in a responsible manner. And they teach to maintain. So learning why maintaining is important and learning how to maintain to ensure sustainability. And that is primarily sustainability in your business so that you're able to retain clients long-term. I love talking about retainer clients and also how to set up a business structure and a process that allows you to have a nice healthy flow of leads and clients. Okay, fam, I gotta come clean and share my biggest secret with you, one of my biggest secrets. And that is that I am kind of terrified of public speaking. <laughs> and I know that sounds crazy because I'm a YouTuber and I'm on this podcast, uh, but I'm actually pretty introverted and with recorded content, you can erase and re-record, but in the live setting, you can't do that. So being prepared is really important and being able to stay calm so that you can get your message out without sounding like you're sitting on top of a washing machine during the spin cycle or your voice is kind of like <laughs> shaking the whole time um, is super important, obviously. So I wanna share my secret weapon with you to staying calm, confident, and alert, and it is Magic Mind. It is a two ounce energy supplement and it's different from pretty much any other energy supplement you could think of that has tons of caffeine and chemicals in it. This has adaptogens, nootropics, and functional mushroom compounds that nourish your body with all of the elements that help you to boost brain function and have a calm, alert flow state. So I usually find a quiet corner and gather my thoughts, think about what I'm gonna say, and my messaging and all of that, and then I drink one of these suckers. And it gives me just a little kick of energy. I don't actually drink caffeine anymore. This is the only caffeine that I have every once in a while. If you're trying to get off the caffeine train or you struggle with public speaking anxiety like me or any other thing where you're, any other circumstance where you're trying to step outside your comfort zone and act confidently, then I want to encourage you to check this out. I have a link down in the description of the video and the podcast show notes where you can try it for yourself 
for 20% off using my special code. I will run that code across the screen and it'll be down in the description as well. And as always, I wanna give a huge shout out to Magic Mind for sponsoring today's episode. So some of the cons, let's just get that out of the way. Some of the cons of joining a membership obviously is cost. It can be very expensive when you're considering joining a membership or a society of some kind. If you're just starting out in this business and you're not really sure it's for you, it's probably something that you can wait on to join until you really feel solid in your decision to run a professional organizing business. It's very different to organize for money versus being a professional organizer. There's a distinct difference and being a business owner requires a lot of support and professional development. And that's one of the things that membership offers uh, from an organization like this. So it's good to know and be really clear within yourself where you're at on your journey before you start throwing a bunch of money at an expensive membership. So that's one of the biggest hurdles, obviously, is financially in the beginning. And I addressed earlier that ASPO really strives to make it accessible financially. It's one of the more affordable options you're gonna find out there for membership. And they haven't been around for as long. They've only been around for about five years but they have a lot of really good things going on. And it's kind of like getting in in the very beginning ground level grassroots stage of an organization that is bound for really great things. And that was something that I recognized right away when I was at the conference and met with all of the members there. Another con of memberships, and this is one that can get overlooked, is that it can be very overwhelming if you're not prepared and you haven't understood what running a business really takes. There are a lot of resources that you're not gonna be able to take advantage of unless you know what you're looking at. So if you don't have the time, if this is kind of like a side gig, the organizing thing, you're just sort of testing the waters and you're very busy with your full-time job, you wanna make sure before you invest in something like this that you're going to be able to take the time to fully dive into the resources available because there's a lot out there, especially in this industry, we, as organizers, love to help and provide resources and be as prepared as possible for everything because that's just kind of the people that we are. And so there's a lot of information out there and ASPO is no exception. And the last sort of overlooked con is that it requires some networking. So you're gonna have to put in the time to go to those Zoom meetups and to go to the conferences. If you're really gonna get the best bang for your buck and you're gonna get the most out of your membership, you have to be willing to step outside your comfort zone. If you're really super introverted or shy, or if you're the type of self-starter person that thinks you can do all of these things on your own and bootstrap everything, that's fine and membership is probably not for you, but I can tell you from experience being in that position when I first started my business years ago, I held myself back for a really, really long time and I just, I want to take my, my former self and just shake me by the shoulders and be like, why didn't you invest in this professional development and these opportunities to grow amongst your peers sooner? Because it makes such a difference when you do step into that networking space with other people, you learn faster. You're not always constantly relying on your own understanding of organizing. You get different perspectives. You can bounce ideas off of each other and it just gives you that sense of camaraderie and community that we're all so desperately craving whether we are willing to admit it or not. If you hate networking and you're just not in a place where you're ready to commit to stepping outside of that comfort zone, then save your money and wait until, you know, do some hard work, think about it and go for it when you're ready. But if you feel like you're ready and craving more of that community, then let's talk a little bit more about what you can get as a member of ASPO. So I took some notes, I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly, but I do encourage you guys to go to their website. I'm gonna flash it across the bottom of the screen there. And of course it'll be linked down in the description of the video on the podcast show notes so you can check it out and dive a little bit deeper into all the things they offer. So I'll read from my list here just to give you guys some of the highlights and there's quite a few, so buckle up. So 
Aspo offers you the professional membership badge to display on your website, your social media, marketing materials, and that just lets others know about your commitment to the profession of organizing. So that's sort of like the stamp that says, I am an actual professional. I take this seriously. I invest in training. I invest in community and I know a thing or two about business. So that's just a nice little perk that you get right off the bat. And the next thing is a private membership community to network and learn from and support each other. So this is off of social media where you have access to a members only area. It's sort of like a forum where you can post on their online board to ask questions. You can share things um, whenever there's sales going on at stores and just kind of keep each other in the loop about what's hot in the industry. They also offer professional discounts with well-known products and brands. So they have a partnership with the Container Store and you will be issued a member card where you can actually use that to issue to the Container Store to get access to their professionals only program, which gives you, I think, 10% off discounts to all of the inventory of the store, which is great. You can pass that on to your clients. Uh, and that's never a bad thing. And they also partner with QC Design School to give you discounts on supplementary courses. So if you end up going into a niche where you're working with a lot of realtors and doing home staging and things like that, you can actually become certified as interior designer, as a home stager and all of those things um, you get access to through QC Design School and you get a discount as an ASPO member. And then this is probably one of the coolest things that you get as a member. You have the opportunity for additional business promotion. This really helps with visibility and getting your business in front of people. Again, we're trying to eliminate that sort of annoying people to get the sale type of thing when you're posting on your Facebook page and asking people to, you know, please try my organizing services or whatever whatever it is. Uh, Aspo kind of jumps in and helps you with visibility and marketing. And one of the ways that they do that is through their find an organizer directory. And I talked to several of the members there and they mentioned they do actually get leads from the Aspo directory. Aspo is a website that can rank higher on Google, especially if your business is new and Google hasn't had a chance to index your website. So you're not really ranking on the first page yet. Uh, Aspo is a good way to get your name in front of people. And since it's a credible association, people can come to that, search for an organizer in the area, and boom, you show up no problem. They also have an organizer spotlight feature where they will feature an organizing member on their social media platforms and in their groups. They have a free Facebook group that has just shy of 4,000 members. And so that's a way to get your business in front of others on social media, which is awesome. And they offer you opportunities to be interviewed in media publications as an expert in the field. So publications from Redfin, Apartment Therapy, and some other lifestyle blogs and magazines will reach out to organizations like ASPO asking for a quote of some kind on you know, the six best tips to get ready for the holidays and, and things like that. So you have an opportunity to plug your two cents into a blog article and get featured as a contributor. And then you can add those badges to your website, which improves your social proof. You know, whenever you see those banners on somebody's website, that's like as seen in, you know, whatever publication, you can then add that to your website for credibility and social proof. And the last couple of things I wrote down, they do monthly meetups. There's a video library of all the past meetups where you can search through and look for a specific topic. It's kind of Q and A style and they have specific topics that they talk about every month. So you can join in the conversation with other organizers and members get exclusive access to their certification courses. And these certification courses are two of the most accessible that you will find anywhere and they were developed by professional organizers. So there's one for sort of the front facing aspect of your business, how to run sessions and things like that. Um, working with your clients, more like organizing theory and process. And then the second one is more business backend stuff. So you have to be a member to have access to those courses, but 
they're there for you. And then you can become a CHO, a certified home organizer, and add that to your business title and your website. And if you've been around the I Speak Organize universe for a while and you get tons of value out of the hours and hours of free, valuable content that we pump out every single week, then I humbly invite you to consider donating to the channel. It takes hours and tons of effort to plan, outline, film, and upload all of the content that we bring to you every single week and a donation, even just $5, goes a long way in our ability to continue to give you that high quality content. The donation link will be down in the description and the podcast show notes. And we thank you from the bottom of our hearts in advance. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the conference that I went to because this is one of the main things that's so fun about being part of an organization like ASPO is actually getting together with people in person. It was down in Orlando, which is pretty far away from me. I was probably one of the farthest organizers to travel about as far as you can get all the way up in Washington state on the West coast down to Orlando, Florida, but it was hundred percent worth it. And I had the privilege of speaking about the fundamentals of organizing for clients with ADHD. And so I did my presentation on that and got tremendous feedback and everybody really learned some great things from that. If you join my email list, you'll get exclusive access to actually view that presentation. I only share those things with my VIP email sub. So if that's of interest to you, you can go down and subscribe to my email list down in the description. And if you want to learn more about organizing for clients with ADHD, I do have a couple of episodes on the podcast. I'll be sure to link to those. And then I had the opportunity to sit back and enjoy some of the other amazing speakers on the schedule. So I'll just give you a brief rundown of what I got to hear uh, so it was sponsored by Jacqueline Strauss, who is a CPA, and she is the creator of a software called Second Vault, which is a great partner program that you can learn to use and implement with your own clients as far as digital organization and legacy planning. And it's an additional service that you can offer your clients. So she talked to us all about that. It's such a cool piece of software that I am uh, hopefully going to have Jacqueline on the podcast to talk about and learn how to use with my own clients. I've already been pitching it to them and they're like, oh my gosh, this is like the solution I've been waiting for. So it was cool to listen to Jacqueline talk about that. And then there was a gal named Geneva. I'm also going to have Geneva on the podcast. She's a copywriter down in the Orlando, Tampa area. And she partners with another gal from a company called Mug Creative. And they do some really great branding for your website and copywriting. And they can help get your website up and running uh, in about a day or two with their VIP experience. There was also special guest Carolyn Rogers, and she is one of the founding members of NABPO, which is the National Association of Black Professional Organizers. So she was there to talk about the formation of that organization and what they offer to their members and how people of color can come into the spotlight in the organizing industry. And then I got to see some speakers talk a little bit more about marketing. There was my gal, Amber Barrett, who I've been friends with on Instagram for a few years. I got to see her talk about CRMs, customer relationship management software and automations. I've used and implemented some of her ideas for project proposals for my own clients since then. And it has been such a game changer and elevated the way I present projects to clients. And then there was Amanda Jefferson, who is a certified KonMari consultant who came and just did an absolutely amazing speech. It pretty much brought me to tears. Um, she was very inspiring and was talking about putting on social earmuffs and how to quiet the shoulds and start hearing yourself. So it was really about the confidence of coming into your own voice as a business owner. Jennifer Martin, our all-time fave, of course, was talking about SEO for professional organizers. I learned a ton of information from her on that. 
And then there was Amanda Lifford, who is from Lansing, Michigan. And she talked about leveling up your garage game with tools. And she knows about all the different types of tools and drill bits and screws and like what everything is. And she makes some really cool products for organizers that allow you to create a binder that has sort of cheat sheets, essentially, where you can learn about all that stuff and know how to organize it in garages more effectively. So you can become like the go-to garage organizer because you really know your stuff. Overall, I learned something new from every single speaker and it was so cool. I took tons of really great notes. That right there was worth its weight in gold to be able to speak on a topic that I'm really passionate about and then learn so much from their other speakers. I thought they did such a fabulous job putting the lineup together. Um, and we all had a really great time nerding out and learning a lot from one another. All right, for the very end of the episode, we got a little bit of a drum roll here because I know some of you are curious as to whether or not I joined ASPO as a member. And you might be surprised to find out that I did not join ASPO as a member because I became a business partner, which is a little bit different. Haha, <laughs> I kind of got you. Uh, it's a different type of membership. So as a business partner, I have the opportunity to do some advertising through ASPO on their newsletter and various other places. I can do some blogging, get a little bit of SEO kickback there, and I can hopefully host some webinar how-tos with members to give a bit of coaching. You can book coaching calls with me through their newsletter, all that fun stuff. So I'm really excited to see where this business partnership is gonna go. And I know that ASPO has a lot of tricks up their sleeve. I obviously can't divulge any details. And if you want the inside scoop, the best way to get it is to check out their website. I'll go ahead and flash that URL down at the bottom of the screen again and click the link down in the description and go check it out. Their membership for a basic member price is like 200 bucks a year and you don't have to take a bunch of courses to attain that membership. You get access to all the things that we talked about, including the opportunity to take their certification course and all the other things. And you will probably see my face around if you and I see each other in a meetup. Be sure to say hi. Be sure to let Jennifer or Rakita or Aaron know that you joined because you listened to this podcast episode. That would make them so happy. And I would love to help out with being the connection point there. So be sure to let us know. And if you have any questions, you can always pop them down in the comment section, you can DM me. And of course, you can also reach out directly to ASPO. All right, fam, as always, that's gonna wrap it up. And I really appreciate you sticking around with me today for our one-on-one -on -one time that we don't get to do all that often. That was super fun. And I hope that you learned a lot. I hope you feel encouraged by what I shared today. If you have questions, again, feel free to reach out. If you want to get on my schedule for a coaching call, I have maybe two slots left for the month of October at the time of filming this video. So go ahead and snag those last couple of spots. I would love to sit and strategize with you and answer any and all of your questions. Join my free Facebook group. Check out all the resources I have available for you. Check out ASPO and reach out to them if you have questions. And don't forget to check out Magic Mind. It is the magic to my mind. And I'm so happy to have had their sponsorship for this episode today and don't forget that that link is down in the description for you to check out for 20% off your first purchase and beyond that I hope you all have a fabulous day and I will see you in the next one bye